another bunker. I can't stop thinking about the dream. We were flying in the plane, but I wasn't afraid. I was giddy with excitement because we were flying back to Ireland. Stanley dove the plane so fast I could feel my stomach floating and we were laughing like we haven't laughed in ages. As we dipped out of the clouds and swooped in over the ocean, I could see the white cliffs and green hills. Stone walls and hedges divided the patchwork fields dotted with livestock. And our tray welcoming us home. Then I woke up in this hot, filthy room, dripping with sweat. Stanley's still sleeping. No nightmares, thank God. Maybe it's my turn. Shit. I'll never break through with that ice. from our journal. Mother's crying in the next room. She says it's because she's happy, but I don't believe her. My father is getting out of prison. My friends protest the unlawful imprisonments, but I wish they'd kept Michael O'Shea locked up forever. Life in prison isn't long enough for him. It would kill my mother if she ever read this. What if Michael ever read it? Would it kill him? Or would he kill me? Well, the violence didn't stop when he was on the inside. But at least when I read about something terrible in the paper, I knew my father wasn't the cause. But now... God help us all. Thin ice. I've got to be careful. Mother begged me not to go, but I assured her it was a peaceful rally. Molly wouldn't go with me. She was afraid the army would show up. So I dragged Stanley with me. I thought for sure he'd want to be there because his father was one of the speakers. Paddy Whitaker was an electrifying presence. People were cheering and clapping as he spoke about the end to the violence, a peaceful end to the troubles. He spoke with such conviction, I nearly wept. But when I looked over at Stanley, he was wearing fucking headphones and messing with his cassette player. He said he'd heard it all before. I couldn't believe it. He has no idea how lucky he is. First the shelter, now this lock. Find a way through. I don't believe it. Those numbers from the journal. This makes no sense. Oh, 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 oh. 
freeze. Oh, 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 oh. This valve, maybe. That's good. Ah, oh, thank God. don't know what's wrong with that man. Stanley came into Rory's pub tonight, sweaty and out of breath. His eye was swollen, his lip was bleeding, and he looked as proud as a peacock. He and one of his no-good mates went messing into East Belfast to store up trouble. Stanley had the brilliant idea to spray the story plow over a unionist mural, but they got caught by some locals and they got into a scrap. Rory thought that was a gas and bought Stanley a pint. I told Stanley he was an idiot. What if he'd been caught by the guard? Or the UVF, they'd have bloody killed him. But he was just too proud of himself to listen. This another bunker. How many are there? Got to get warm. Got to get warm. Yes, hurts from trying to smile all night. I can't blame Stanley. There's no way he could have known. He's not that cruel. He knew I was named after Beethoven's opera and just assumed that I'd be a fan. But it was my father who loved the opera. He'd blast those records into the night and stagger about with a half-empty bottle, waving it in time with the music. It was terrifying. But I love Stanley. So I gripped his hand and smiled through the entire performance. These pipes they must all be connected. Stanley, are you there? Oh, it's so cold. I get so shivering. 
My leg, it's gone numb. <laughs> At least it doesn't hurt anymore. Am I falling asleep? Oh, I thought I heard voices. Oh, I don't remember what time it is. I think it'll be dark soon. But I don't think I'll make it through the night. You've got to stay warm. Oh, God. Hypothermia must be setting in. Oh, shit. Hail. Ah, fuck. Ah. Oh. Hail's too strong. I can't get through. This thing. Christ, I hope it's big enough to protect me. Molly and I snuck out to a party tonight. It was in full swing by the time we got there, meaning all the boys were bollocksed. Well, not all. We weren't there long when this beautiful lad hands me a beer and said his name was Colin. Oh, he was tall, with bright green eyes, and he wore neon-coloured runners. I asked him if it was his party. He shook his head and said that knew it was my party. Then he turned and waved his hand around like he was the great fucking Gatsby. And the first thing we saw was Stanley Whitaker throwing up in the kitchen sink. <laughs> I laughed and said he could have his party back. Oh, we blathered for a while and we were really getting on when Stanley Whitaker stumbled over and asked Colin if he ever wore those shoes outside. And before I could tell him to fuck off, Stanley asked Colin if he knew I was the daughter of Michael O'Shea. I felt my legs go numb. Colin couldn't get away from me fast enough. The door. It's working. Kiss my arse, fucking island. The black smoke. Nearly there. Christ, what the... 